This clip shows how to plot lines as points where the plunge of the line is known. Lines or lineations could be linear structural features like a fold axis, uh, crests of ripples, or a preferred orientation of elongate minerals. The plunge is a line's angle of tilt away from the horizontal measured in an imaginary vertical plane. In this example, there are two lines being plotted. One line plunges at an angle of 77 degrees in the direction 126 degrees. The other line plunges at an angle of 41 degrees in the direction 309 degrees. Mark the north on the tracing paper. For the line plunging in the direction 126, count 126 degrees around the primitive circle. Again, remembering the heavy lines are at 10 degrees and the subdivisions are at 2 degrees. So it's 10, 20, 30, 40, so on, until it reaches 120 degrees. And then it's three subdivisions to reach 126 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the plunge direction at 126 degrees. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole of the stereonet. The line plunges at an angle of 77 degrees, so hold the tracing paper in place and count 77 degrees from the north pole on the primitive circle along the north-south line. Use the small circles to count 77 degrees. Mark the point that represents the line. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is in its original position. For the line plunging in the direction 309 degrees, count 309 degrees around the primitive circle, again remembering the subdivisions and divisions on the stereo net. Counting in tens to 90, you can then quickly count to 180 and 207 degrees, and then in tens up to 300. So it's then a further four and a half subdivisions to reach 309 degrees. Mark on the tracing paper the plunge direction at 309 degrees. Rotate the tracing paper so that this mark lies on the north pole on the stereo net. The line plunges at an angle of 41 degrees, so hold the tracing paper in place and count 41 degrees from the north pole on the primitive circle along the north-south line, again using the small, cir small circles to measure 41 degrees. Mark the point that represents the line. Rotate the tracing paper so that the north pole is in its original position, so you can then see the stereogram that shows the two lines plotted as points.